Hello, hello, hello. It's 7.30 ish. RV Deb's here. Happy Wednesday. How's that look? Hello, Bill. Bill, Bill, Bill. How are you feeling? Hi, Deb. Doreen and Zach, welcome, welcome. Hi, Lynn and Iris. Come on in, get comfortable. Hey, Sharon. Grab a drink. Butterbean. Hi, Tina. Roseanne and Brenda Lou. Everybody, I got my ice. My uh, grape raspberry ice. So happy Wednesday. Good evening. Hi, Tony Ann. Hi, Mary. I know I'm saying I say hello to everybody and it's a pain in the butt. Hi, Megan. Hi, John. But I think that if anyone enters your house, aren't you going to say hello, right? Good evening, Zelda and Devon, Faithy. Yeah, we're getting all gathered and comfortable. Nice. Blood orange sounds like a good a good one. I, I don't drink too many, but I you know they were they're they're cheap enough. I've I've tried to I've been giving up Diet Coke. Hi Mary, Maryland. I've just had people say, you know, you you have to you, have to, you know, you know. Amanda, how's my girlfriend? Elvis is on PBS. I almost missed you. Uh, the black leather outfit, Elvis. That was a good show. Hi, Doggo Ben. That was at its hottest, I think. Fantastic dreamer. Nice to see you back. Well. I tried, yeah, but you know, people complain. It's okay. Kathy Hodge, hello. So, um, it was another hot day. Yeah. Over a hundred. It seems like it's just, that's what it is. Hi, JJ. I'm surviving the heat. Thank you, Megan. Thanks. It kind of looks bright orange to me. There's Jim. Hi, Green Jay. What do you say, Green Jay? I've been watching one after another, um, the um, Netflix um, Ancient Aliens. It's like a se lots of seasons of it. Kind of interesting, you know, in the background while I surf the net. Actually, hey, AC. Hi, Rancher. Hello, hello. Well, I haven't been hanging out on Second Life at all. I mean, like, really very, very, very few times. And only with my friend that I meet there. And we, we talk and then we meet on Second Life. So I thought, well, let me go on Second Life. So you want to hear my... my uh, time on Second Life today. That's why the, the subject is sex. <laughs> oh, thank you, AC. It's really comfortable. It's like, it's an inexpensive cotton top. You had oral surgery. Oh, yeah. I bet you're tired. I hope you feel better soon. Anyway, well, you know, you guys have seen my my um, avatar. Let me show you my avatar. I'll show you a picture of my stunning avatar. Let's see. I got to find one. You know, I got to get fancier. I got to be able to like put things on the screen so you guys can see them. I guess I just don't know how to do it. Let me 
see. Any second life. Oh well. It's just, I have too many pictures and I'm not organized. Hi, Kimberly. We'll talk about, I'm hoping that this one heals up for you real quick. Amen, sister. Yeah, this is just not going to happen. Unless I have it on my favorite. Nope. Anyway. Yeah, my, I, I, I can't find it. Anyway, just know that I'm like a 12, not a 10, I'm a 12. So I go to this club and this guy messages me and he says he's Italian and uh, thinks that I have a beautiful avatar, you know. And then I, I'm like, yeah. And on Second Life, you can have a you can you can be married. You, if if you look on someone's profile, if they're married on Second Life only on Second Life, the name of the person's there. And he was married. Oh my 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 wife, she lets me dance and play and have fun with all the any women I want. I'm like yeah right right. Anyway, one thing led to another. He goes, I promise, come come to my house, let's dance. And I promise that I won't do anything. I won't do anything. I love Italians, you know. So I go with him because he's got a really good looking avatar, okay? He's got tattoos and he looks like a bad a bad boy, you know. And it's all fantasy anyway, right? So we're talking, you know, and, there, and then we get on voice because he wants to make sure I'm a woman and wants to show that he's a man. So I hear him in a broken, you know, Italian, hello, hello, you know, like, hello, how are you, you know? And uh, he's, we're talking in the channel because he used a translator so that we can talk, but... He couldn't understand what I was saying. So at one point, um, we're like dancing and then he goes, come, come on in here. And we went into the house of this beautiful home that he had created, sat down on the couch. And as soon as I sat down, he, he there's a menu and you can click cuddles, you can click friendship, you can click drink coffee you can drink you can click sex you can drink all you can all of it's on the menu and the next thing i know i have leather pants on in a top he's fully clothed and i'm fully clothed and he goes right in the position of 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 going down on me anyway i just went Nope, you know, on in, in voice. Oh yeah, and he thought I was a man because you know I wasn't. I don't know, wasn't saying the right things. AC downsizing, it's hard too. I've done a lot of it myself. Look, I moved. There's my pretty little uh, lamp right there. That's. Um, that was a gift from Amanda. So anyway, the moral of the story is men are men no matter where they live. <laughs> and 
all their promises. Oh, she does have a very good taste, actually. I might have to move. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll put... Hold on. Uh, always, there's always something in the way. Is it always so hard? Well, for the moment, I can't do it. Uh. Okay. <laughs> they are cherry blossoms. Hi, J-I-R. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm good. Fuzzy Fork says over 60. Listen, people over 60 are still very much alive. And some of us are sexual people and some of us aren't. And there's everything in between. Linda, I am watching Big Brother. I am. I got, um, what's it, that Paramount Plus. I decided to, to break down and buy it. Hi, CAC. Anyway, we're never too old to enjoy each other. And I think, I think uh, you know, men get older and they, they, don't, they don't have the same working tool but that doesn't really mean that a person without that still can enjoy themselves and still create a very you know warm intimate relationship if if they want to of course what do you think I saw it, it on Paramount Plus. You can, you can, if you have it, you can get it. Brenda, do you agree? Yeah, I think, I think we're, we're people, even 70s and 80s. That doesn't mean you're dead. Okay, yeah, you're not 20 and you're not 40. You know, things slow down a little bit, but I think everybody needs love, whether it's hardcore sex or just affection. Hi, Holly. Hi, Sarah. You know, we have to be very, very careful of the people that we find online. Um, I've been watching Catfish. So before you, you know, really do start talking to somebody, watch a few Catfish so that you understand what, what, what not to do. You know what? I think things are hanging exactly where they're supposed to be. There really is no mistake. You know, yes, things have changed and uh, the right people together, it wouldn't matter. And if it matters and you're uncomfortable, then you don't need to do anything. But I just think it's important to be open to um, enjoying each other, you know. Everything hangs low. Cool, AC, you'll have to let us know about Meetup because I think that's a good way. No, I never would get married again, ever. CAC. Hi, Julie. 
I don't know. I haven't been with anyone since my husband, honestly. So it would have to really be something, you know. Lily, why are you barking? Lily's in the bed barking. Yeah, no, marriage is not. Mm -mm. Yeah, when you, but I, what I'm really talking about is the guys that like try to try to talk to you on Facebook and Instagram and even some of the web, the, the um, um, what do you call it? The uh, connections, couple, couples. I don't know. You just have to be careful and really never give any money to anybody online. And in a, at a dating scene, you know, if they don't want to talk live like this, I'm just saying, because, you know, people like, okay, I'm going to go meet somebody. Just be really careful. Hi, 2021. I think it's cool to have an adventure and and check somebody out really good before you give, you know, real identity and all that. Comfort's where it's at. See, there's, I, and I've been watching these catfish. I love, I love watching them. But I would definitely say if I like somebody and they were talking to me nice and we started a couple weeks just texting, if they don't want to get, you know, call me and me call them and no. See, somebody met somebody on Tinder. That's cool. Just all I know is be careful, right? I get a lot of men on Facebook and Instagram. Um, no, you have a nice profile. Can we just please be friends? And like, then you look at their profile and they don't have any friends. Hi, Barbara. Thank you. That's very sweet. I'm feeling pretty good. I am. I think, I think stress really can make you look bad. So I'm feeling not as much stress. That's why I moved to, to this area was because there's more people around to meet people. Uh, I lived in a small town for six years, more, th more than that. And there was nobody around. It was lonely. Didn't even have a chance to meet. Here, if I want to do something, I, I could go do something. Lily, Lily. I hear you. Yeah, we're safe here, you guys, no matter what the topic. Thank you, Casey. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a cherry, cherry blossoms. You do have to be extra careful though. Hi, Jill. Welcome. 17 cats. Oh, they'll keep you busy. Thank you, Sarah. I feel better now that I'm, now that all my stuff is here. Yeah, she's just been. Why are you? She back? She, she might be back. Do I have a gentleman caller? What do you mean, a boyfriend? Is that what you mean, a boyfriend? Thank you. This one's for sale. I've got a lot of jewelry and necklaces starting to go for sale now. I did sell one, one necklace and one pair of earrings. Yeah, well,
Hey, you. Come here. Come here. I got Janelle. God. This is my little girl. All right, calm down, calm down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean to pick you up like that. I don't have a boyfriend. I have a man friend. Jim is my man friend. Isn't she sweet? Yes, she's a sweet. This is a princess right here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take thumbs up. That would be nice. Thank you for reminding everybody. How you doing, Cali Cat? Thank you, Doggo Man. Isn't it nice? Yeah, Amanda sent me that years ago. I had to catch her. She's, she wouldn't just like come over and let me pick her up because she knows, but I caught her. You're caught. Um, yeah, I only have 47 thumbs up. Well, 144 people. She's a good little princess. I love her so much. I can't even, there's not even an amount of measurement. He's happy. Ever see Dwight Schrute's bit about Second Life? No, I haven't, Neon Rabbit. Thank you for the thumbs up, Mel. It won't hurt. It doesn't hurt to thumbs up. Well, I, I, I don't like go on Second Life. When I lived in the small town for a year in my apartment, I was on Second Life more than anything. And, um, you know, that got old, but it was my only form of social other than my channel. Here, where I live in this uh, RV resort in uh, South Texas. Um, thank you, Kat. Here, you know, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of things to do. The clubhouse, there's always people. So I really feel like I found the right spot. Yeah, this is a color I rarely wear. I mean, it's bright orange. What do you think, Lily? Hi, Kim. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Ah, uh, see, I come on here and have a I have a live stream, and you guys just pick my spirits up. And that's really that's what it's all about, you know. So I've really been decorating a little more, and I'm gonna get some more stuff out of my storage shed, not shed, but my storage unit, and I just keep going on, you know. Just keep looking because the right thing will come. Yeah, $82 for sure. Well, my hair, the way it looks right now, I have to work it because otherwise my hair is wavy and curly. I just... um. I've been using a blow dryer and then a straight, like a straight flat iron, just a little bit, like two minutes. If I let my hair just dry, as long as I scrunch it a little, it looks okay too. Well, my, my electric bill is part of my um, job, so I don't have to pay it. But I know they're got they're they're up there at uh, 240 to 280. Rancher, the work work on Sunday and Monday was so easy because it's such a quiet time of the year. 
I did very little. I, I, I did ride around a lot in the golf cart. And that's always fun. Yeah, I'm so glad I went to the... I'm going to go and get it trimmed every now and then. Hi, Jen. Well, is her property near, near a lot of other things or just out in the middle of nowhere? Two days a week. And in in the season, I will be busy, but I don't I don't mind. Well, you know, it's nice because I'm talking to people, I'm welcoming them, I'm showing them around, I'm I'm you know helping, I'm taking money. It's a good job. I mean, it's only two days a week. Well, just as long as you have outlets to AC, so you don't just rely on her. The calendar for what, Mary? Hi, Vale Roberts. My little sweet girl. Baby. I'm so glad you're all here today with me. Oh, I wish it was more fall here. I mean, I don't really, I've never been here in fall. I got here in December. And I don't know how fall like it will be in South Texas. Maybe it'll be spring like. I don't know. I'll let you know when it, when it gets here. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a good job, Dee Dee. I'm very grateful. And, you know, I feel like I'm good with people and I can handle it. I pay a hundred and something dollars every month for my uh, Verizon. which is a little too much. Ten plus years you've had a storage locker? Oh my gosh. Amanda will kill you. Amanda, tell people what, about storage lockers. They're temporary. They're supposed to be temporary. You know, I don't care for pumpkin spice. Amanda, are you still there? Anyway, Amanda works like with the storage places. I, I, I have three months. That's all I want to have the storage. And after after three months, I, I definitely want to have it empty. Mint Mobile. Sounds like minty, doesn't it? Anyway, I guess I'll just let you guys talk. <laughs> I don't mind. <sighs> yeah, because I lost a husband and I know what you mean. Mary didn't have to have surgery, Linda, which is really great. No, she didn't have to have the doctors didn't want didn't have to do it. Yeah, there's a lot of storage places here too, because people don't want to like let go of their stuff, so they put it in storage, thinking that they're gonna get stuff out and, and you know empty it. 
and then a year later they're still paying their hundred and something a month. So yeah, Mary's doing good. Well, I'm sitting at my painting area actually. Hey, Kathy Bailey. Barb, thanks for letting everyone know that. I appreciate it. I, I know how old I am. I, I don't, I, I'm not sure what you mean by fancy coffees. If you mean this stuff like, you know, uh, caramel, creamy, chocolate and all that, no. I like regular coffee with a little bit of sugar and some half and half. Thank you, J.I.R. I'll let you know. Yeah, a lot of people lose everything in storage, you know. They Sometimes you just have to let things go, which is not easy. I know. And whatever I have in my storage unit, I want emptied in the next two months. That's good. Let, let them have their own things. Oh, why did you change your name? Now I'm never going to remember. You'll have to tell me all the time. Yeah, a lot of people save stuff for the kids, and then the kids are like, I don't want it. No, you're older than me, Linda. Sorry. We're not the same age. Yeah, I know, Doggo Ben, it's awful. Okay, well, just when you come in, John, you're going to have to tell me again because I get a lot of people's names and it's really hard when someone changes their name. I happened to wind up with like everything my father and mother had and everything my sister had. And then I had to get rid of so much, almost everything, really. I don't think you'd want to live in your car, Sharon. I really don't. What age do you remember the best? 50s. <laughs> John's a new friend now. Uh huh. <laughs> You're an old friend. So I got all that stuff. It, you know, I had to like literally get rid of almost every single thing. Yeah, you can't have all that stuff if you're downsizing only to 700 square foot. I gave a lot of stuff to Goodwill and Hospice when I left Florida. That was the biggest downsizing. And then I've been downsizing ever since. I just downsized in a whole apartment full of stuff. Dolls and pugs. Yeah, I've only kept a few things of my mom and, you know, my dad and my... Very little, really, very little. A lot of the stuff I have is, you know, with me now, though.
Well, welcome, Judith. Good luck with your channel. Oops. Yeah, that's cool, Linda, that your brother lived there and you lived in Clearwater. We don't have to tell our age every time we come in here, okay? Age is a number, really. Hey, Nana Cat, I'm glad you stopped in to say hi. Thank you. It's been a while, huh? Do you go to Sunday? Do you go to Sunday Zoom? Because I went in and nobody was there yesterday, Sunday. Yeah, health is the most important. And my doctor said that my liver and my kidneys are functioning really well. And all the other stuff. I'll try it again next time. Yeah, I donated a lot of clothing went to Pink Lady, which up there in uh, Knox City. And Sean, thank you. Yeah, good liver, good kidneys, good cholesterol. <laughs> Eighty pairs of shoes. I've never had that many shoes. I'm not a shoe person. I have three pairs of shoes coming though that I ordered on uh, Timu. It's good to have you here. I haven't talked to you in a long time. Thanks for coming. Linda's going to tell you how fantastic she is, everybody. That's what we do. All right, wait. Uh, that's the most important. My doctor said the same thing with my liver and kidneys. Hello, Flora Stella. Yeah, it's going to be hot in Dallas, too. Dog of Ben, she gets it. I have a lot of clothing that I got rid of, but shoes, I just very few. So I have 75 thumbs up. So how how do you think? Do you think I can get 120, 120 of them? If you haven't thumbed up me, make me happy. Oh, that's good to hear, Brenda Lou. I have stuff coming, so I can't wait to see it. Yep, she's still there. That's where she's from.
Oh, that sucks, dolls and pegs. Hugs. Sorry. I'm lucky in a way. I pretty much can eat anything. Pretty much, and fried food is not the best. I don't really eat a lot of fried food. Still, still here. I think I got lost. 25 more pairs of shoes. How many shoes can you really wear, you know? And I'm funny about shoes. Like, I want my shoes to be really comfortable. If I had new shoes all the time, they'd always hurt. I did order three pairs of uh, sandals from... Timu, and I'm just hoping that they're comfy. I only really have one, two. Uh, I have about six pairs of shoes, I guess. I only wear about three of them. I need a new purse. Hey, there's RV Ashes. Hi, Margie. Yeah, well, I'm going to see how, how the sizes of the shoes go. It was very clear to how to order. What am I looking for? Oh. Yeah, I just have to have comfort. I mean, if it's not comfortable, I can't wear it. When I was younger, I used to, like, when I played guitar and sang for a living, I used to wear high heels. I don't know how I did it, but I did. But I was, you know, in my 30s when I was wearing them high heels. You know, the problem with my air fryer is that if I run the air fryer, I have to turn off the air conditioner. And you don't want to do that. Well, I'll show you the purse I've got right now, Brenda. I like it, but it's it's gotten dirty. That's my purse. And it's got ink messed up, so I have to get a new one. I think Jim might have left. I don't know. I like something that's got a good tread on it so I don't fall, but comfortable. Yeah, I like the, the purse is nice, but I got all that stuff on it. Thank you. Elvis would be 88 years old. Well, the thing about it is, um, John, I only have 30 amps and my air conditioner takes about seven, 15 to 17 amps just to run it. And the air fryer takes 17 amps and that's over 30. Plus I have, you know, TV on and lamps. And it just, you know.
I don't think he's here or he would have answered you. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Tina. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some more stuff from Tina. I definitely want to try a purse, but I haven't seen one that I wanted, so I didn't get it. Hi, Karen Walker. I like outside, at least an outside pocket to put my phone and my keys. So I like a couple of outside pockets. Well, Doggo Ben, I took, I, I bit the bullet. They they offered me um, some free items, and in, in return, I've got to do a video, which I, when I get the items, I'll show, you know, and I'll make a video. But I also bought on my own three pairs of shoes. Good night, Linda. Yeah, it sounds like it'd be okay. I think Amanda left. I think Jim went night night. Yeah, so the well, you know, I'm gonna see what I got. I'm looking forward to uh, to getting a package. Pressure to do it. Well, anyway, the topic of sex over 60 is not really that interesting now, is it? It's funny how that went down the tubes. Me too, John. Yeah, the heat is something you have to deal with. Um, I've kind of, I kind of made friends with the idea that this is the, the lifetime in the summer is slow and you kind of hide out in the heat of the day somewhere, whether it's out restaurant, shopping, movies, or inside your place. See, look at that. John says an 80 plus year old told him they were active. Yeah, so it really doesn't, I mean, it, yeah, in general, when you're young, you think, oh, my God, old people. But no. Sex, what's that? I know I haven't had sex in a long time. The only good thing about Second Life is it's very sexual because your avatar is hot. You know, you, you don't have to be an old avatar unless you want to be. And that is a very sens sensual thing. The whole the whole second life is really kind of cool. You miss the closeness. Well, the thing is, though, but her being head is that um, when a man can't have sex anymore, this is my I, or a woman. It doesn't mean that they can't be close you know, and intimate. It's really, it's sad that because a certain part of your body's not working really good, that the rest of you get to suffer. That's all. And, and intimacy, it's not like the intercourse that, you know, as a younger adult. No, it's gentle and kind and loving and sexy and sweet. And that's intimacy, really. Even a kiss to me is, would be very intimate. I haven't been, I really haven't had any, anything in years. I would, I forget how, but it's just like riding a bike. Well, I'm just ordering because I, I am. It does, uh, you're right, Doggo Ben. Yeah, medicine. I'll tell you what, doctors love to over-medicate everybody, and really that can ruin you. Um, 
I know, I know, I mean, I have a, I know a friend who's, who's not interested because of medication and years of, of that kind of thing. That sucks, Butterbean. Do you hug and kiss each other? I hope. Screw society for sure. I I refuse drugs. I mean, the what I'm on, the, what I'm on is enough. I don't want any new stuff. Well, wait till you see what I get because I ordered actually. I, I paid for this one order, the three shoes, an anklet, and something else. Well, butens, those are terrible drugs. I'm sorry, but they are. Oh, that just breaks my heart, Butter. Uh, life is tough. Really. But I'll tell you, the drug companies want to keep us sick. They don't want us to get well and not use drugs. Come on. And I think our world is, is actually run by drug companies. Uh, don't get me started on that crap. Zoloft is another thing. My dad was on Zoloft and he like, uh, it, it wasn't good for him. That's good, Faithy. Sex is overrated. Well, I, I think, I think intercourse may be overrated, but sexy times sensual love is, is not overrated. I'm glad you got something good. I can't wait to see what I get from Timu. Yeah, drugs killed my dad, really. I understand. That's great, John. Yeah. I mean, I take uh, a lot of times I'll take Tylenol PMs to go to sleep. But uh, I don't want, to, you know, I've been offered pr back in the, in the, 80s, I think it was, I was offered to go on Prozac. You know, you tell a doctor that you're having some down times and it's like, oh, let me just write you out a script. No, thanks. <coughs> I'm going to live as long as I live, you know, I'm not going to look for, you know, look for it. But I, I know I take care of myself and I go to the doctor, you know, you know, he wants me to get another blood test every three months. Well, I was offered like, you know, $150 worth of stuff to do a video. I'm thinking to myself, why not? And then I spent like $36 on my own afterwards. Hi, Caden. Yeah, Elvis was really cute, really handsome. I see to you. 
I'm going to have to see if uh, my insurance covers every three months because I'm not going there to make a bill. I'm going to, I'm going to give it my, sh I, you know, I, I actually bought stuff. So I think the stuff that I bought is going to be here before the stuff that they're sending me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not in any hurry. My life now is really like easy and slow. Uh, I try not to worry because that doesn't help. Um, and I like just enjoy that I am free enough in my home and comfortable. Yeah, three seems excessive. Um, I'm sorry, Dee Dee, but in, and it's okay to take a tranquilizer when you're having a really hard time, as long as it's just temporary, right? You went to the doctor and got COVID. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm not just going to go and get my blood work done. I'm going to call my insurance company. A rancher, exactly. You know, if, it, if you connected the right way. Oh, George, I'm so glad. It's the only way to make a tortilla is a raw one and cook it and let it bubble up and turn it over and bubble up. And they're so much better. Thank you, Faithy. Oh, thank you. That was a weird, uh, that was a, a weird cooking thing. You do? You check my weather? <laughs> it's been hot. We're going to be hot. The ones I got were flour tortillas. Yeah, I have cheap insurance. I have Humana. I don't think you can get any cheaper. Do you guys check the weather? It's 94 degrees now, so it's chilly. Sweater weather. Thank you, guys. Okay, here's the, here's the week ahead. Now, next Monday looks okay. Hot. Most of the ones that you buy, uh, Maryland at the market are fl they're flour tortillas that they've been cooked you eat them up but ask somebody say raw you know because there's probably a mexican um place to get them jill i i wait a whole year usually i don't i only get it done once a year i don't know why he's because they want to make money doctors need to make money just like everybody else right You know what happened here? This really pisses me off. I have um, insurance for my car. When I lived in the small town, I got my insurance down. I, I mean, I had what I had to have, and it was like 55 bucks a month. I come here and give my new address, and now it's over $100 a month. I guess it depends on how many people live in the area. Oh, I'm sorry, Jacqueline. If 
if you speak Spanish, you've got it made here. Such a lot of wonderful people, and I just think it's great. Yeah, it's hot, you know, and summer is forever, but winter is really nice. Mine's a month right now, a hundred a month. It's a huge jump. I was so upset. It's because of the where I live now. There must be more accidents. And out there in the country, nobody, you're not driving. And if you are, you're on a highway that's desolate. Here, no. It does. It's it's a lot. It's like really pisses me off. And and I, um, Jim told me his was doubled also from living in, up in New York. So I don't know. I'm gonna do some shopping though. But I had the same company for a long time. Oh, you guys. Well, I tell you what. It's been fun. Raymond. Oh, we talked about it, and that's how important it was. Everybody just got off the subject. Well, that's not cheap either. Have sex over 60 till have have sex as long as you can. And if you if you're with someone, that's even better. <laughs> I love you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, hit the bell, so you know when I upload a video. Blah, 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 right? Thanks for watching my channel and being so supportive. I really do appreciate each one of you. And if you haven't given me a thumbs up, well, that's the one way that you can show me that you do like when I do the live streams. Peace out. <laughs>